Just give me the key. Listen, I stayed at the Bigsby house. I brushed my goddamn teeth right next to the tub where Sir David Smith drowned his whole family, and I stopped being afraid of vampires when I was 12. Do you know why I can stay in your spooky old room, Mr. Olin? Because I know that ghoulies and ghosties and long-legged beasties don't exist. And even if they did, there's no God to protect us from them, is there? I can't talk you out of this. I think we've reached an understanding. Very well. Come with me. It's an evil world. Well, I, care, I play a character, uh, I think a terrific character from the mind of Stephen King, and he's a paranormal kind of ambulance chaser. He goes around and writes these travelogue kind of exploitive kind of books about like the scariest places in the world. Mm -hmm. And um, so he's basically writing about him and trying to make him scary and murder sites and all that stuff. But um, he's basically, he doesn't believe any of it. And he's sort of daring the gods or the devil. He's or, looking for trouble. He's looking for trouble in the worst way. And he's like actually daring the devil to come show and, his and face. And he gets a little bit of it, doesn't he? Well, yeah. And, and like in any good story, everybody gets what they want. And ah. he gets to meet the real thing. And in the real thing, he gets to face his own demons and, and then try to survive. Did Stephen King have any involvement with the creation of this movie beyond the short story? No, but you know, when we had a script that we liked, we sent it to him and he read it and he really liked it and that was important okay. to me, obviously. I mean, it's a short story, so as you as you know, we had, you know, we, we had to broaden it out and you know, we Very we, much we, so. we 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 put we gave him another, you know, backstory, but I I always felt that we were very true to the heart and soul of Stephen King's short story and he obviously felt so too. So he he was really happy about it and he said, you know, Good luck in doing your film, and he was he was he was really a gentleman about the whole situation. Um, can you talk a little bit about how what it took to expand this story? Because as you said, I mean, it kind of doesn't really wrap up in a way you would picture a movie wrapping up. No. Uh, so it, it it obviously took a lot of work to expand again. Well, as you said, keeping the heart of the short story intact. Yeah, I mean, we needed you know we gave him we gave him a past more of a past than we see in the short story. He have a family. He have a very tragic, traumatic thing that happened right. to him. His, his daughter died. I mean, a lot of the film, the, the, it took a lot of emotional energy. There's a lot of emotion in this mm -hmm. film. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, there's scenes, you know, I was saying, someone said, is it, was it fun to shoot? And I'm like, uh, not really. You know, I mean, even though I loved these actors and I loved Michael and that was fun. It was fun to be in London working with people you admire and all that. But the actual day to day was really grueling because it just, I knew every day after hair, I loved hair and makeup because it was my last stop before. I sort of entered hell, you know? Right, there's a little bit of pain that you see yeah. in your characters. Well, yeah, I mean, the loss of a child is is right, unthinkable, and an actor's job is to go think about it, you know, is to go pretend it's real. What the room does to you, that it evokes your, your, your inner demons, right? And, and yes. it, it's it's your demons. You, if you walked in, that it, it would be yours. And in this case, it's Mike Anstin's, right? And I think uh, we needed we needed this, 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 this pieces of the puzzle to, to make his journey also more emotionally involving. It was a really challenging film to to because basically once we get in the once you get in the room and Enzlin goes in the room and he and he you know it's in the it's in the short story he goes, This is it. Right. You know, like what's the big deal? And then it's on and it starts and then it has to keep sustaining itself and the stakes have to keep raising and raising and raising until it reaches kind of this fever pitch and then right. it stays there. And then to sustain that over an hour is a real challenge. So it's a, uh, it was kind of the thing when I read it, I thought, well, I don't even know if anybody could do this. Can the movie even do this? Can it sustain? So that's a good place to be in if you don't know if you can pull it off. That we were doing this thing that um, we were going on some journey where we didn't really have a road map, but we also didn't have a safety net. I see. And that was kind of a, I mean, it, you, you, you definitely, you could definitely feel it that we were out there doing something pretty risky.